Greetings, everyone, and welcome to another exciting night of college basketball presented by 2K Sports. And tonight we've got the Michigan State Spartans playing against the Yukon Huskies. Joined at the table by Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony, I'm Forrest Hunt, and no question this game tonight should be a fun one. Just listen to that crowd. College fans sure know how to get lit and worked up. They fire their teams up with that energy. Both of these teams want to send their fans home happy. And when your fans are also your friends and classmates, that's just extra motivation to excel. Here's McLeod. Pass to Hayward. Now Harvey. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. Out to Thompson. The shot from 20 feet, and good as it just snugs right down through the net. So don't forget now, big Zach Randolph came through the program as well. And I think Michigan State has just done a really good job. And it's good. He's two for three so far. Back to Torres. Porter, RV covering. Count that one. You can tell Junior has been building his offensive arsenal. And that one's good. Won it all in 79 and 2000. Honestly surprised they haven't come away with more with the success this school has had. Up top, Scott. He's guarded by Hayward. The shot is good. Mills. Clock at six. And stolen by Junior. Fast break, here they come. And he takes it in for the layup off the nice feed. Here's Porter, count it. Pass to Webb, over Lambert. Out to Thompson. Back to Torres, here's Porter. And another shot. The basket good off the assist from Torres. Get after it on the glass. Go get those boards. Clark, it wouldn't hurt. Some extra possessions would definitely help narrow the gap. Thompson outside. He gets it in there. Yeah, they're rolling right now. That lead continues to grow. Back to Scott. And a great assist by Thompson as that one goes in. Outside, Mills. Just five to shoot. Again, the miss by the Spartans. Here's Thompson. And it's good. Fought through the contact, hit the shot, and he'll go to the line. Here's O'Connor. There's the triple. Thompson pulls it in. That's a big donut, folks, here. Start the second half. Four straight they've missed. Nick. And stolen by Junior. Oh, my goodness. What a slam from Junior. They just can't convert to stop this run. And, you know, they've got to be careful because this is when the team concept breaks down and guys start playing hero ball. Thompson. Back to Torres. The basket good off the assist from Thompson. They've done a lot of things well today, but really it's about what they've done on the backboard. To the inside. Count it. And he's now eight of nine from the field. Here's Weber. Five points in the game. Here's McLeod. Buries the long-range jumper. And, you know, even though he's not a lights-out shooter from deep, the defense still has to be more aggressive there. To the paint. Here's Torres. Takes the assist and lays it in. Here are the Huskies. Inside. Torres. And Junior throws it down. And this offense is in a perfect rhythm. And you can see how they're finishing their plays. Boy, this is borderline ridiculous. I mean, every single attempt finding the bottom of the bucket. Pass to Weber. Here's McLeod. O'Connor. Here's McLeod. Over Torres. Off the left rim and out. 
and a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one, Greg. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. So both teams making some changes here. And that one misses. You know, what I like most about Junior is how he stays confident, composed, and focused. I mean, even when he's going through a tough stretch, for a young player that's just developing, he's got a lot of self-confidence. And so it's UConn easily grabbing this one. Uh, you know, I thought the activity of Junior really set the tone. Great anticipation defensively, jumping, passing lanes, and basically being very disruptive out there. He completely disrupted their offensive flow. Put them in protect mode. And... Junior, why'd you dunk the ball like that? I saw an opportunity to make a big play. <laughs> hey, why'd you dunk the ball like that? Felt like the right time to energize the team. All right, you're going to have to make a decision about what type of player you're going to be, how you're going to represent yourself and this school. Would your dad have made that play? Listen, coach, if I stepped out of the line and you don't want me to do it again, fine. I can make the adjustment. All right, Junior, I'm going to tell you a story. <laughs> All right, now I'm at my school. I'm bleeding our colors, but I lived on the bench. One particular game, everybody was in foul trouble, so I get tossed in. Now I'm thinking, good, it's my moment. I'm going to give him the razzle-dazzle, behind-the-back pass, crossover, step back, I threw the kitchen sink at him. You showed out. Absolutely. I wanted to show that I belonged in the rotation and off the bench. We ended up winning by two. So I'm thinking, I'm on cloud nine. Life's complete. Why do I get the feeling that this story does not have a happy ending? Well, coach pulls me aside, and he tells me I'm back on the bench. He says we should have won by 10. But I made the game about myself, my ego. Every time I went, I wanted to do something special or fancy, we dropped possessions. I, I was mad. He was wrong. But then I saw the tape. Hmm. You know what happens next, or you're just tired of listening to me talk? I'm not because I'm listening, Coach. Look, Junior, win or lose, play the game the right way. Now, if you think that dunk was the right play, that's fine, but you're gonna have to live with that, and there may be some unintended consequences. You got me? Got you, Coach. All right. <sighs> Smiling, huh? Hey, don't worry about <laughs> Don't worry about that. Oh, she oh, got you oh, smiling. Man. Look you at go. you, boy. Hey, thank you for bringing me here. This place is amazing. I come here every Monday when Madison's playing. It's so easy to get one dimensional with like everything that we do, like mm -hmm. training and film sessions and travel. And I just, I just want to see so much that's out of that bubble, you know? Like yeah. I have to. Yeah. Well, I haven't found that thing yet. No? Why not? I... That is a great question, especially because it's so direct. <laughs> Well, that's what college is for, right? Yeah. Figuring out who you are, and you're exposed to so much, just if you're open to it. Like, all of this, this makes me so good at soccer in the long run. Like, at least I like to think it does. And you play for the Canadian national team, too? I'm, I'm an alternate right now, but yeah, every time I get in line and they sing, Oh, Canada. <laughs> I get chills. Like, I just, I can't wait. I, school lets me take assignments on the road as a wait, special wait, arrangement. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If my memory serves me correct, you said basketball players get the treatment. Yeah. Well, that's what you okay. said, right? Yes. Basketball. Yeah, I did. Oh, okay, I did, checking. okay. But you know what I'm saying, <laughs> right? Right? Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. 
everywhere I go, people are asking me about the games, win or lose. Especially lose. Yeah, expectations are high, but yeah, I get it. But the fans, they take everything so personal. Oh my God, yes. Yeah. yeah, it's it's hard to filter out all that noise. Yeah. yeah. I struggle with it sometimes. Being good at this, it's your responsibility, yeah. Yeah, it's just all going by so fast. And I, um, I just want to appreciate this moment. So thank you very much. Thank you, too.